Uh, Josh Hayden. I, I teach in uh, the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, and then I also have an administrative role uh, in institutional research. But I've additionally taken on taken on the role of um, chairing the virtual instruction task force during this time. Nice. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Yeah. Um, what is the virtual instruction task force and who is a part of that? I guess I'll start with the who. Um, there's uh, really the, the President's Collegium created the task force in response to the COVID-19 crisis. Um, it's comprised of six faculty members, including me. Uh, two administrators uh, meet each uh, week and have really been a part of this process for communication. Uh, and then we've added two students to the task as well to get student feedback uh, from the student council and, and the student task force, which is, exists separately uh, from the uh, virtual instruction task force. Um, those are the members. And then our, our charge really is to um, assist our colleagues. Uh, and uh, using Microsoft Teams for virtual instruction, using Neo as a, as a uh, supplementary platform, one that we already had uh, in our courses, but maybe using it on a kind of a next level um, basis. Um, also offering tools and training. So we've done a training uh, with faculty. They were all on a call. Um, we shared a couple tools through that, but to share really ongoing tools. And it's been a great vehicle for communicating just innovative, creative ways to engage students and increase the, the level of engagement in the, in the classroom. And then finally, communication. Um, we've uh, really had a lot better communication between administration, faculty, and students through this time. I, I think that's one of the um, unanticipated consequences of setting up something like this, where you've got people across different places in the university, including the, the schools, academic schools. Uh, so it's been really helpful for communication. Nice. And so this communication is happening. You guys are discussing best practices and ways to improve. But what can a student or just any member of the AU community do if they feel they need extra help? If they need extra support from you guys, how can they how can they get it? Yeah. So uh, we have um, the emails available of all the task force members, but we have a central email. Um, it's at virtual.taskforce at aauni.edu. Uh, and that's an email that you can reach the, the virtual instruction task force on as a whole. But then individual members have been had kind of office hours where they've helped faculty, staff um, engage uh, online and, and, and use the tools that we've been talking about. And sometimes it's just following up on uh, some things that we've gone over. And you never know till you're in there and you're using it. Um, what these tools, how they work. So uh, that's been another uh, avenue. A, a way to com uh, that we've tried to communicate with the community um, and communicate from the surveys that we've uh, captured data with um, and then as well as the best practices. Uh, we have a newsletter that's starting this week, that's coming out every week, that um, we'll share those tips and tactics on an ongoing basis because uh, it's not just a one-time thing. People need all uh, ongoing support uh, and really the support that, you know, you can do it. We have such capable teachers at AAU and um, it's just uh, giving a little bit more help and more support and, and people have really stepped up to the challenge and I've been impressed with what I've seen. Nice. So it's a collaborative effort. Cool. Well, I'm sure everyone appreciates it. I know I appreciate what you guys are doing to kind of try to bring everybody together when we all are forced to be apart in a sense. Um, but hopefully this will help ease the pain a bit um, until we can get back to AU more so. But thanks for talking, Josh. I appreciate yeah. the time. Absolutely. Thank you, Liliana.